All right, what is going on, guys? Last week of the Open, Kyle and Austin here talking about our initial thoughts for 22.3. I got it right, finally. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, I just do that in all our social media stuff. <laughs> I uh, heard that in the video last week, and I didn't even yeah. hear it live. <laughs> I apologize to everyone who heard 22.1 and shut the video off immediately last week. It was the 22.2 video. Um, yeah, 22.3, guys. We have uh, 21 thrusters, 42 double unders, 18, or sorry, 21 pull ups, 42 double unders, 21 thrusters, 18 chest to bar, 36 double unders, 18 thrusters, 15 bar muscle ups, 30 double unders, and then 15 thrusters. The weight is ascending on the thrusters. Um, so for this one, guys, for the warm up, we're really focusing on making sure we open that upper body, a little bit of rotation, thoracic rotation in there, good shoulder flexion, um, so that we're stable overhead. Um, and if needed, we can kind of breathe through that position. If you guys watched, um, Annie and, um, Lauren go, they kind of paused at that overhead position to really make, to kind of gather a breath and finish out their thruster reps, especially on that last bar. So that's kind of what we're focusing on today is getting into opening up that overhead position, getting um, some length in the lats, uh, getting some thoracic rotation, um, and then giving you some um, faster interval sets to kind of get the heart rate up, what you're going to be experiencing in this workout. Uh, obviously any sort of upper body pulling and thruster combo is Fran esque. Uh, we've just seen it evolve over time. Um, so it ends up being a very high heart rate oriented, high respiration rate at some point in time, um, workout. So, uh, the, the sets that you guys are going to be doing today, three sets, the cell bike, five to seven seconds at 90 to 97%. So this will get the heart rate up a little bit, um, kind of uh, and then we're having you go into, uh, nine pull-ups, nine thrusters. You guys will rest actively six, six rest actively three, three rest actively always hitting that kind of peak sprint beforehand, um, just to get that heart rate up into kind of where we're going to end up seeing it, get a little bit of a cool down in there. Um, and just kind of get you guys used to moving back and forth between all the movements here. Um, so that's our warm up. Um, Hopefully it goes well for you guys. Uh, Austin, what are your kind of initial thoughts on this workout here? Uh, very standard CrossFit. I mean, you have your thruster, you have your pulling. It's kind of how the open has ended uh, last few years. Uh, throwing in the double unders is, isn't anything new. And for most people having a rep scheme, 42, 36, 30 on double unders is going to be just kind of an added piece. It's not a stressor yeah, by any means. My uh, <laughs> but then like we, even though the weights increase on the thrusters nothing's extremely heavy like it's yeah. 135 85 so like fresh and not in the middle of a wad like guys gals should be able to hit those that last set of 15 if you were fresh like unbroken and the mm -hmm. workout it's probably gonna be a different story but right um but yeah it's just you got to move. And the big thing is you got to be efficient and like kind of have a plan going mm -hmm. in because if you just send it, well, that last 15, 15, you're going to suck with the bar muscle ups and the thrusters too. Yeah. So you know, the guy in the first, he, he failed a thruster. I think the guy, the other guy did too. I think he got a no rep on a thruster as well. Yeah. Yeah. Both. And, and so to, to give, uh, kind of some comparison. So obviously you saw Khan uh, and, and Tolu go and they, I think they went unbroken all the way to the 135 bar. Um, so to give kind of a comparison of where those guys are sitting is Khan and Tola are probably are inside of the 1% of this workout. The other two guys, maybe if they pace a little bit better, um, but they would be kind of inside the the top eight percent or something like that but they're more of like kind of where you're going to see that 10 percent line um kind of come in maybe maybe closer to 839 sure. um but so you you kind of had two ends of the spectrum on this one you had like the top one percent and maybe even higher than the top one percent and then you kind of had that eight to twelve percent range so with the guys at least um i think the the females as well um so hopefully this gives you guys a little bit better. I like you get 
the more you see a workout, the more you kind of know how you're going to tackle it. So it was kind of nice to see both ends of the spectrum on this one, as far as like qualifying for quarterfinals go. Um, and hopefully that can give you guys a little bit better idea of how you want to pace it. Um, but yeah, because I mean, even if we're looking at the last couple of weeks, I mean, you have first week at Belner, Noah Olson, last week you have like Saxon Panchak, Justin Barros. Like, if you're a 10% person, you can't look at their game plan and be like, oh, I'm going to do exactly that. Despite that happening every year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was, it was actually kind of cool, like how we talked about it and you just brought it up too. Like, they kind of showed that team that's on that, like, say, 10% range. Yeah. Like five. So your first time not seeing it, like, in person is, like, one of your buddies or one of your athletes or anything else like, doing it. Yeah, yeah. So um, I think, uh, you know, if you're if you're taking a look at it from the elite top 1% uh, realm, like, I think the way that Annie paced it, I, I'm having a hard time doing math to figure out her time right now. But I think she was somewhere in like the sub five, six range uh, or sorry, five to five to six minute range. Um, but she broke up her second set of thrusters. Um, I didn't take a, I didn't get to look at her first set of thrusters, but she broke up her second set of thrusters, which allowed her to really hammer on her 15 and 15, which is kind of where this workout for the elite ends up like coming into play. So. The guys obviously smashed it. Um, they did 15. Un I, I mean, they went unbroken all the way to that set of 15 barbell. I think the only place that they might have been able to make up time is um, if they were to uh, maybe break their set of 15 bar muscle ups up so that they could go unbroken on the 135 pound barbell. Because at that point in time, you're just looking at cumulative heart rate creep where you can keep that heart rate creep down for that 135 bar by breaking up the bar muscle ups, getting that, you know, 12 second break on the on the double unders and then being fresh enough to go unbroken on the 135 bar uh, where the break might have been a little bit longer on the like doing a set of nine thrusters at an unbroken 15 heart rate, unbroken 15 bar muscle up heart rate, where the heart rate would probably be a little bit lower on coming to the bar. So you could do those thrusters unbroken. So that's maybe the only place that you could make up a little bit of time for them is like, instead of breaking on the thruster bar, they break on the bar muscle up bar, um, get up there a little bit quicker and then go unbroken on those 15 thrusters. Um, as far as like the, the two other guys go, they just came out way too hot, 21 and 21 unbroken. And then you saw them just kind of fall off the cliff after that. Um, I, they, they obviously broke their 18 chest of ours up, but I think at that point in time, it was a necessity thing, not necessarily yeah. a want thing. I, I uh, think one of, the, one of the guys got out of his like butterfly rhythm after like four butterfly chest of ours. And kind yeah. Of yeah. 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 So uh, I'm sure I'm sure that nerves played into that a little bit being live streamed on the CrossFit Games website in front of your. Yep. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I think uh, breaking it up early, breaking it up often, um, even something like a seven 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 on the set of twenty one, six 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 on the the eighteens, and then just going hard so you can save it a little bit for. Um, that round of 15 on the 15 thrusters, 15, um, sorry, 15 bar muscle ups, 15 thrusters is kind of the route to go here. Even something yeah. like eight, seven, six on the 21s or I, seven, six, five. Is that equal 18, seven, six, five? Seven, six. Yeah. Yeah. Seven, six, five on the um, round of 18. And again, this isn't like, you know, if you're trying to get a competitive time, this isn't like a drop off the, the pull up bar, take three steps back, go to your knees, breathe heavy, come back up after 10 seconds, do your ne next set of seven chest to bar, six chest to bar. Like this is like hit your set of seven, drop down, shake, jump back up, set of six, drop down, shake, jump back up, set of five. 
Um, it's really just trying to keep the heart rate under control, getting into that round of 15. Yeah. So, and like in that, you saw them there too. Like if anybody was to chalk, it's like right before getting into like the pull-up bar, like every time yeah. you pick up your pull-up set, it's like you don't have to chalk every single time. If you yeah. do that, you're adding 10 seconds every single time. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I know if, there's a lot of like people that kind of fall into that trap. Well, I'm going to break this up. So I need to talk again. Or, yeah. Like, yeah. Literally <laughs> chalk the bar beforehand and then go, if you're one of those people that takes unnecessary chalk breaks, chalk the bar beforehand and then punt the chalk bucket somewhere. Yeah. Skip, don't you, act- don't, you don't need it for this rep scheme. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Make sure you just have a bunch of chalk on your hands and or you could even have somebody bring the chalk bucket back during the bar muscle ups because the break between those if you do have a high heart rate might be a little bit higher but yeah it doesn't it you don't need to chalk every single time you come off the bar for this one yeah but no i mean i think good strategy like if you're in that bubble 10 percent, whatever i mean like you mentioned breaking things up early, like even if you three sets, if you know, you can maybe do it in two, well then plan on doing it in two, just because you feel good on the 21s don't hang on. Mm. So like even like 12 nines on the 21s. And when you get into the 18s, you could go like 10, eight or Mm. something like that. But, and you, and cause that could be something like, if you know, you're going to be a person, if you break it up three times, but you're not good at hopping back up on the bar, well then you might need to only break it up twice maybe take a little longer break in between, Mm -hmm. but then make sure you hit your second set of eight for the say 18s. If you started with a 10 and then keep moving on. Yeah. (laughs) Yep. Yep. Yeah. I think there's, there's definitely a multitude of different ways to kind of attack this workout based off of like your athlete profile. Like maybe you're a better upper body puller than you are squatter. So you want to attack the upper body pulling, slow the thrusters down. Um, Maybe you're better squatter or thruster or presser than you are polar. So you kind of want to slow the upper body pulling down, attack the thrusters. Um, But I think the big thing for this one is just making sure that you come in with a game plan because this is a very easily retestable workout. Um, Kind of one thing that we're seeing this year with the open is it is way more competitive than it was last year. Um, So I, I think there's a lot of people that are retesting. And if you're definitely kind of on that bubble plan for a retest. Um, so making sure that you come in with a good game plan on this one and stick to it so that you can adjust it for the retest on Monday um, or whenever your retest is um, obviously don't tear the volume's pretty low. So the volume is pretty low though. So it shouldn't really be an issue. Um, but yeah, game plan, game plan, game plan, and stick to it. It's going to feel 20, 21 pull-ups is going to feel very easy to start the workout, even 21 thrusters. It is yep. literally a workout of that middle piece and that end piece is the workout. So make sure you guys are pacing according to that. So, yeah. and even going into like how you talk about pacing like the 21s, if it helps you mentally, I feel like if you go with the 21, 42, 21, think about that as your warm up round. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be like tired afterwards. You're just warming up. And then you start to get tired in like your 18, 36, 18, but you're not emptying the tank yet. And then at the end is when you're just like, hey, I got to go now. So it's kind of like I'm warming up, I'm settling in, and then I empty the tank. I shouldn't be trying to sprint from the get-go yeah they're all gas no brakes analogy only applies to the top like two percent for this workout (laughs) yeah so uh make sure yeah yeah that's a that's a good way to think about it though is like warm up settle in attack no cool um i think that covers everything you have you have anything else austin or no it's standard um just get after it, be, yep. be smart about it. You're going to feel good when you start. Don't be an idiot to where <laughs> you start to fall off and uh, you'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. They, this one is retestable. So if you do come out too hot, you can probably retest this 
at least once. <laughs> so, yeah. um, well, cool. Thanks for tuning in guys. Uh, as always, if you guys are looking for a coach, hit us up, um, follow us on Instagram, blacklisted.hq. You guys can uh, send us some direct messages there. If you guys have any questions about uh, this open workout, um, shoot us a message. We'll be happy to answer. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll probably catch you guys for a quarterfinals debrief here. So talk to you guys soon and good luck on week number three.